Hello everybody. Uh, today we are going to make a parrot and a sword. Like you want to make a parrot, balloon parrot and a sword. So uh, I'll just tell you what we are going to do basically in the end of the video. Like what will happen when we make both of those things. Anyway, so first we are going to take a green balloon or any color. I mean, best is green for a parrot. And then if you have a gray balloon, then you can use gray for a sword, which is the best, or even black, but I didn't have either of the, any of them, so I took blue, because that would best represent the sword. Okay, anyways, so now I'm going to inflate this in front of you, for you to know how to make that uh, extra long nozzle that I was talking about. So, uh, First, we insert this. So this will, yeah, this. And then we insert a little more amount of balloon into it. And then we. Uh, yeah, around 17 to 18 pumps are enough. Depends on which thing you have. Now, okay, it's a little short. The uh, spoon. yeah, yeah, that's enough. And then tie the knot like, yeah, that's nice. So your extra long nozzle is now ready. Okay, it's not so extra long, but it is long. We need about uh, just this much of balloon. The uh, place over here is just going to get covered up and you press a little from the back. Okay. So now our green balloon is ready. We have around this much space, which is plenty. And now we can start making a pack. Okay, so we are here. Okay, so now with our balloon, we are going to make our balloon parrot. I was said pretty much before, not so before actually. Okay, so now my voice got a little loud so that it's a little clear for you, like more clear, like clear. Okay, whatever. So now we'll keep our balloon over here. So first thing we are going to do from the nozzle side, we are going to do a small basic turn. Alright, that's known as a basic turn. If you haven't seen in one of my videos, like that. Correct. And then now this turn is a little tricky. First, we make a balloon like this, right? We basically just twist it over. Then, making it a little concave in shape. Ah, sorry. Like this. With an extra long nozzle pin. We are going to tie it around. Like. Now, tying can be a little difficult depending on how fat of the balloon you are using. So, yeah, it's, well, it's pretty hard actually. So, you basically need to tie the nozzle around. Okay. So, if you have finished that thing, then please skip the video. It's written in the description much to skip the video and the materials needed are also written in the description like the type of balloons you want and etc okay so i just make the head right about now all right so that's how your parrot head should look like all right 
Okay, now there's a little tricky part in making the body actually because of the long tail you need to uh, perfect the size otherwise there could be lots of problems too. Okay, so now I'm going to little upper the camera because it takes me a little effort in doing the body. Okay, so basically here we have a parrot. So first we do so we basically do two basic turns over here and then oh, they should be of the same size or you don't even need to do two you can just do a lock turn but if you know how to do that don't don't even try doing that because it's so hard Okay, so now your parrot is going to be looking something like this, if I'm not wrong, okay. So now obviously you don't want it to look like this, you want the body to be straight. So we just adjust the tail, like the extra part, sticking out, okay. So that's our parrot's body, actually, not our parrot exactly. Okay, now as you can see, we are left with quite this part, but don't worry, it's enough. Okay, so now you can even do some art like on the beak. I'm going to show you the final parrot at the end of this video. Okay. Then we do a third basic turn too, which is the same size as these bowls. And now we are going to do a really hard part. The third basic turn that's at the back should be squeezed between them. Now, if the basic turn has been undone, please do the basic turn again. I didn't notice that it had been undone. Because otherwise, it won't fit between the uh, And it should be exactly of the same size. Please remember that is. Not like exactly, exactly, but yeah, something like that. All right, uh, that was hard. Now we are going to yeah, now that's better, right. And that is actually a really hard part, squeezing that back thingy. So you need this kind of back to the parrot. This is how it looks from the front. Nice. If you want to add some eyes to it, you can just cut a white balloon and squeeze it somewhere over here, but I'm not interested in adding the eyes right now. So we shall move on. Okay, whatever we Okay. So now we are left with just this much of part. So you better be a little careful. Otherwise, you're going to end up exceeding the whole thing. Now, you want two circles? Yeah, pretty much circles. And the third very small one that's going to be left. And the tail and whatever. Right. And there, there goes your part. Okay. Yeah, that's better. The legs are not of the same size, but that doesn't matter so much. Now let me so show you the parrot from my angle. Here I am. This is how your parrot should look. Okay, from the side, from the back, the certain, and from the front, like that. Now the hard part was obviously squeezing this thingy behind. Like that, it's quite a hard part. Doing that, but I don't think you have a hard time doing that if you have practiced it in many videos. 
that mirror is really reflecting me behind. Anyways, yeah, that keeps happening over here. It's really not it. Okay, so we have a parrot ready. Now we are going to make a sword, which is going to be super easy. Okay, so let me turn the view back. Again, we have a blue balloon now. You, you uh, actually don't need an extra long nozzle for that. So I'm just going to pump it up now. I want to pump this off because you need to Okay. One more thing, important thing to remember. You don't want much space at the end of this. Okay, this is, this is a very important thing. You just need about two to three centimeters of it, not less than an inch. Just think about now we are going to tie about I'm just going to pump this balloon, you know how much space to leave now. So yeah. All right, that one will. Yeah, that one will. Okay, so now I have my nozzle, which is of normal size, and just around the edge of um, the space at the back, it should be more. We have a parrot over here. First thing we are going to do, we are going to move straight to the loop down over here. We kind of shape a line over here and make some extra space. We'll try again. That's something like this. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, sweet. So we just adjust it to be like this. Now comes a tricky, not so tricky actually. Let's do it over. Right. Now, if you want, you can even make such type of simple sword like that. Okay. If you are not interested in making some very design ones, you can even make something like this. It works. But if there's no design, there's no interest. We do three basic spherical turns from here to around how much ever? Three. Remember the number always. So hold it for about a minute. So uh, okay, not a minute. Like if you're an expert, then you can even try like that. Keep putting it in the Work for me. Okay. Just put it into the loop I showed you on our first chapter. Oh, God. I don't think that it's going to be so hard to make a sword. Okay, now we hold the old thing for a minute or so. I'm just going to hold it and uh, yeah, and I'll be back right about now. That was about enough. <laughs> okay, now I have some extra space left, which shouldn't be there. So what I do is I turn these three basic turns into five basic turns, and then I see how much space I have left. You just need to finish this space. That's why I've done those three basic turns. Otherwise, there's no need for them. So I'll be um, back after doing how many other turns it takes to finish that thing. Okay, so I finally finished my sword in five basic turns, and we are supposed to hold it like this. Okay, now finally, how to become a pirate with a pirate? Hold the sword like this, pretty obvious. Now, where to keep the pirate? 
It has two legs over here, as you know. Put your shirt between those legs. Alright. So basically just take some of your Oh, I'm holding the wrong side. Sorry. You can't dance with it. Yeah, you can't. Actually. Uh, but the parrot is never going to get detached. My guarantee. Even if you do jump and jump to that. 